Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam? Let's go today. We're here doing a ranked one. We wanted to try hard Thursday, real quick before the game starts. Tomorrow, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, I am doing a 24 hour live stream on Twitch. You can win literal thousands of dollars. There's a lot of fun incentives. And uh, I promise you'll enjoy yourself if you just stop by. Promise. I actually promise. And um, on top of that, if you want to be a member, you can be get about five extra videos per month maybe more maybe less about five and um yeah that's that but try hard thursday so today we're gonna be try harding mainly magical adcs because they're the most op i thought about banning Kleena because i just can't beat them but <clears throat> but maybe maybe i can beat them with poseidon maybe I'm a, maybe i'm a better poseidon than I am any other god in the game. Probably not. But maybe. Um. Yo, is it dumb as fuck that I want to go med? Yo, bro. What's up, homie? That's not how you spell homie. Um. One of everything, probably. I do like double buffing with Poseidon, but I think the play is actually blue, this, 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 and the back of the lane. I think that's the real play. So we grab the blue. Then I rush for wave. Which I hope that I can clear effectively. He was going to go for his blue, but he saw me and turned away. All right, and I super out clear him, so that's great. These spawn at 30 seconds, literal perfect timing so far. And then I hit my, my speed buff and then I meet the wave again in the middle. This is how I think you should actually start rather than starting just speed blue. <clears throat> because if you start speed blue and they push and like if you start speed blue and they do what I just did, you're losing out on a full wave of gold. Pretty sucky. Like, look how far ahead I am already. Already a few hundred gold ahead. Just for taking the more off the more out. I only really have gold, but I don't think I really need it. Alt the wave. He double alted the wave and dashed it. Jeez. I don't know about that. But I am going to grab this. I'm going to grab two mana pots because starting with Bancrofts means you're not really getting much mana. It gives it gives you 150 mana, but like you don't get the MP5. MP5 is way more important than the actual mana stat itself. I feel like at least I could be wrong. All right. And I have finished Bancroft's. He's just building his soul leader. He knows he can't fight me. Um, I don't care about red. I'd rather have blue. I think I'd rather have blue this game for sure. I'll get his ages here. Oh. Or not. Hmm. No Aegis. That kind of sucks. Ult down and he saw his Aegis. I mean, I don't need my ult to kill him. Which is why I was willing to do that in the first place. Because I do enough damage where... And, and he started Soul Eater. Oh, he, he used the bug. He has Bluestone. I just realized... He used the starter item bug and has a blue stone against me. Well, is what it is. At least it's not a Boombas or something. I really thought high res would have fixed that by now, honestly. Especially with me private messaging them a day before the video even uploaded. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
Dude, I'm like 500 gold ahead. You. I was waiting for him to clear so minions would all group up. He doesn't have his blue buff, I don't think. Do you? No, you don't. I will take this. Thank you. Man, I'm farming so hard. The Kraken, by the way, was just for uh for zoning there. I just I didn't want him <coughs> excuse me. I didn't want him to try to fight me. Because obviously I don't have mana. Um and I want to clear this wave before I back. So if he pushes me back now, I'm not going to have enough money for my full breastplate. Like during that fight, I wouldn't have enough money for my full breastplate. So I just crack in to get him off of me and let me farm one extra wave so that I could back, finish breastplate, and then contest the red buff. I'm a little late though, honestly. Nice, he didn't do it. You do not scare me at all. All right. I mean, I'm definitely like winning these trades. Not only am I winning the trades because of lifesteal, I'm winning the trades because... Oh, no way, bro. Running? I mean, I know your speed's up. Because my, my blue buff is up. If my blue buff is up, then I know your speed is. You do not scare me at all. There's the Aegis. He does have Soul Eater, so his lifesteal is pretty good. Not better than mine. Oh, he thought he could go in the wall. Unlucky. I would normally go for his blue buff here, but I think that it's probably a little too risky for me. Probably just slightly too risky. I don't have enough mana, and I could pop med and go for it, but then I risk losing the fight. And I guess because I already have speed buff on, I'll just take a an updated speed buff. Dude, I'm surprised how far ahead I am right now. Over a thousand gold. He's really not contesting anything I'm doing. I wonder if he's maxing his one. able to kill that. Unlucky. My damage isn't there yet. I didn't have my uh my finished typhons. Did you get your your blue buff or no? Damn you never even got your blue buff. My guy you're falling so far behind you gotta farm. That blue stone and the cleanup pick like I get it you're you're going for the S tier pick but you gotta go for the S tier plays before you go for the S tier pick. 
And I'm not even roasting. I'm just I'm just trying to help him out. Like, I spend less time on your your god pick and more time on like looking at what I'm doing. Because that's that's really the issue. I'm running around and I'm not even being sneaky about it. Like. A lot of times when you're playing a higher level player, you need to be sneaky about what you're doing because like if I step to the left here, like if, if I'm if I'm going to clear and I take a left step and I look this way, clearly I'm giving a sign that my blue is up and I want it. And he's a little bit too close to it for my liking. You know, that's like exactly what I'm telling you. So if you just pay attention, you can get a lot of secret things. I don't think you can live through this, right? Because you... You're dead for that. Thank you. Yeah, if you just pay attention to the other player, you can get so much extra information that you never would have thought that you can get. I don't know. I do have Typhons now, so I'm doing some actual damage. I also got a Horrific because... He's probably going to go sprint because I got the horrific, but it got me a kill, so I'll take it. Red buff spawns soon. But until then, I'm just going to do these. Yo, he got thorns? Okay. Not a bad play. I am a thorns enjoyer myself. Oh, I thought you were going to back up so far. I missed. Mm. Oh. I think he got his back off. I don't think my one was going to hit. For my 3M, sorry. Your blue is up, right? As always. I will take it. Thank you. And now I'm going to go. I could go poly here. I will go poly here. I mean, I'd be lying if I just... If I thought this isn't the best build in the game, right? And it's try hard Thursday, so... The whole point of this video is do what's best in the game and <laughs> show it off. <laughs> How'd that not hit? The Kraken. Bro, he double altered that? Then the wall. Okay. Oh, hello. I want to stall his back as much as I can. Because I have minions going into uh, into tower. The longer I stall his back, the more damage I get on Phoenix. Look at that. I got half the Phoenix dead because I was stopping his back. Red buff should be pretty quick for me. Because Polly. You can grab those. I'm chilling. I'm chilling with my blue buffs. Not really too much happened in this game. I'm hyper farming and he's not doing anything to punish me. Pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. 
I feel like not going sprint after I already had horrific was a pretty big mistake. And then um, the fact that when he presses one, he can't cancel it means that when he presses one, he can't Aegis my Kraken. So it gives me a really, really good opening to go hard as shit and W key the crap out of it. All right, I don't know if he had his speed buff on when I killed him last time, but we didn't. I will take this then. I have 3,100 gold. I could probably fight, but there's no point in fighting while I'm down this much. So I'm going to go chrono spin in here. Because I only have <clears throat> 20... I only had 20% cooldown on my build. Everything else was just lifesteal and power, so... Not to mention the MP5 of Kronos Pennant is super awesome. Does this clear? Hello. I was a little late on my uh, my ult there. You are too low HP to get into the wall. Perfect. That should be game, I think. Well, I don't know. He's dead 20 seconds. It'll take my minions at least 15 to get to the Titan. But I can hit the Titan a little bit earlier. We'll see. Might not be game, but... If it's not game, it's... A very hurt Titan, for sure. Yeah, it's 100% game. GG. GG. Alright. Game number one done. That was actually a pretty good one. I, I showed off. I feel like that's one of the games where I really showed off that if you pay attention to your opponent and you pay attention to how they're playing, you can manipulate their actions so heavy to get an advantage. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to Try Hard Thursday, game number two. He banned Poseidon in this game, and I was going to play Hades. And then he banned Hades. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll just play Oleron then. And then he banned Oleron. <laughs> so now, the only magical ADCs I've left are Freya and Sol. And then I realized, wait a second. That's kind of Popega. I don't want to play magical ADCs all day. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to play Merlin. And the reason I'm playing Merlin, I'm not a great Merlin, right? I'm not delusional about it. I don't think I'm a good Mer Merlin. But... Captain Twig and PBM both say that Merlin is super underrated in duel and that he's actually like S tier right now because of the lifesteal build and because of the fact that Obsidian Shard and Soul Reaver work so well on him. So basically, it's like Bancroft's Breastplate of Valor <clears throat> or, you know, whatever. If they're a mage, then you go like Genji's or something. Then you go Typhon's Poly and then you go Obshard Soul Reaver for your six items. And you just apparently apparently you just do insane numbies. And uh I wanna I wanna try it out. I wanna see if they're telling the truth. Or if they're just better players than people and make it look like they're telling the truth. So I'm gonna take my bad gamer fingies into Merlin and see if I win. Oh my neck. Fighting a Bastet Zyrant? I don't think I've ever fought Zyrant before. He does have a purple border, though. He could slap me. Um. Okay, beads would be pretty good against his alt. Obviously, shell would be pretty good against everything. Just absorbing the damage. I think I'm going to go shell, and I think I'm going to also... Two points in the one. And I'm going to go fire stance. So that I can super burst this first buff down. And then I should be able to switch into a different stance for the other buff. Actually, no, wait. I want I wanted to do the start I did last game. Blue buff, wave, and then XP, and then, you know, whatever after. He could be invading. It would be sad. Because there's no way I ever get this buff if, he, if he's invading. Perfect for me. 
Dude, I did that buff really quick, actually. Hello? I'll actually take that trade, and let me tell you why. He used his whole kit on poking me, and he did get my shell out. But, um... I don't think it's worth it for him because now look how long he has to stay in lane. He has to stay in lane so long just to keep up with clear because he used all of his abilities on me. And because of that, he really shit on like his whole objective, really. Like he didn't he didn't get anywhere with that. And I'm still here to collect all my XP. I didn't miss any XP. So I think that's really good for me. And I do want to back, uh, yep. Okay. Nah, you missed that 100%. I expected him to be at his buff, not at the XP camp, so. That's where the confusion was. I, I mean, he never did his speed buff. He still hasn't done his speed buff. I do miss one minion worth of XP. Miss one minion worth of XP. It's really not a big deal. Mm, I might die here. Nice, the cat missed. I'm chilling. <laughs> he can do a little bit of damage to me there, but <clears throat> I got the red, so I'm I'm chilling. Also, my poke is pretty good here. Took a tower shot for that. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna stop his back because I want him to back. Because my blue buff is up. I alt into my fire stance here because it does tick damage. I don't have mana, obviously, but the tick damage will be nice. Grab this, grab breastplate, grab a couple pots, and head back out. <clears throat> and when all said's done, all said and done, uh, I'm halfway to level 8 and he's not even level 7. He just hit level 7, I guess. Cause he never, like, he literally never got that buff, man. I think he just got his speed buff for the first time, and I'm on par to get it for the second. Yeah, I have, uh, Bancrofts now, so his poke doesn't matter to me anymore. I'll get the XP camp. And then I will clear this wave, and then I'll, uh... No, you are not going to two me. Did you win this? No, you literally never win this, bro. You're going to jump away. Um, I'm not stupid. I know... I know how you work. Mm, nice. I can get away with not shelling that. I was a little worried that not shelling that was too greedy and I was going to die for it, but nice. I'm going to back here. God, I really don't want to, but I will. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to upgrade this. The reason I didn't want to back is because I lose red buff 100% now. Does he hit 9 off that wave? I just missed my 2. I mean, I know he did red buff. He's still level 8 after doing red buff, and I'm level 10 now. Oh, man.
I mainly just want my blue buff here. Right, you go for me. I go for the wave. And then I annoy you. I mean, he could ult and maybe win this fight, but he's got to remember that I still have my shell and he doesn't also. Closer than it should have been because I missed my ability, honestly. A lot closer than it should have been. If I was better at the game, that, that fight would have been a joke. But... The whole reason I picked Merlin is to see if even a bad player with Merlin can win. And I'm fighting a Bastet too, which is notoriously good at beating mages. <laughs> he is going Soul Leader, so I'm thinking maybe I, I take a a slight break in my lifesteal plan of Typhons. And I go Divine next. Just so whenever he gets... That Soul Leader online, it's like already useless. I want to get the timer for the red buff too. <clears throat> I'm up about 800 gold. I missed my whole void stance. I actually got one. That's unexpected. I'm just going to be hyper annoying here. I don't think he can kill me unless he like ults me under tower or something, so being annoying is my best plan of attack. One HP, bro, no way. Okay. Well. Mm. Bro wall could die here. Yeah. I didn't have my shell up and I didn't have uh I didn't have my shell up and I didn't have my alt transform and I didn't hit him with my one before because I'm bad at games. Your middle tower is under attack. I think I think I am gonna go divine. Damn, that death is so shitty. And the fact that Red Buff literally had one HP after I comboed it is the most upsetting thing about everything that just happened. I'm going to transform now, so I just have the cooldown up. Um, Damn, he got a full Pestilence on that back, too. Hmm. This is not going to be an easy game at all. Pretty much a battle between um his mana pool and my health pool. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I dude. He does so much damage to me. Does so much damage. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I need some cooldown too, probably. Come on, keep up. Your middle tower Dude, I went from a thousand gold up to seven hundred gold down. In two fights. Uh, he definitely did red. You got a full B stick. Dude, how is he so far ahead of me in build? I guess Soul Leader doesn't cost a lot of money, but still. Is he doing bold demon, you think? No, he's not. He's waiting. I didn't even hit those. Yeah, he's not even using abilities on... On, uh... The wave anymore. I did go Bracer. Oh, that hit me, huh? Damn, he was actually able to take tower off that, huh? One copy piece. No. What about two copy pieces? I hit him with everything I had just now. Like my whole kit, my whole combo. I don't have the damage yet. Maybe it's all about finishing out your build. Maybe. I, well, here's the thing about wait for late game, right? Against a Bastet, you can't. She jumps in and combos you, and then you're dead, and it, that's it. You can't really wait it out. Why does my one not do damage to the ti uh, the tiger, the cat, whatever? I'm guessing he back. You probably had like another 1500 gold or something to spend. I really don't want to let him do bull demon, but I don't have a choice. I, I feel like. Mm, dude, he got a full Titan's Bane? What? How? You're not that far ahead of me. You're 700 gold ahead of me and you're a full item up? I don't get it. I really just don't get it. Can I get this? Oh, you're doing bull demon. How do I stop him from getting this? Mm. 
I almost won that fight, but he also was hitting the Titan that whole time. Not the Titan, the uh, the Phoenix that whole time. I can get my Ob Shard now, which is definitely going to help, but... And the next item I get is Soul Reaver, apparently, and then you just win. But I don't know, man. He does way too much damage. Placed his bracer down. Damn, he doesn't die to that. He was one HP too, bro. Damn. That had to be so close. He had to be so close to dying there. All right, well. I do want, <clears throat> excuse me. I do want the blue buff back. And that fight wasn't horrible. I mean, I didn't use anything. Right? Did I? Oh, okay. Okay. Damn. I don't know. I think, uh... I think Merlin is still hot trash in duel and PBM and Twig can't convince me otherwise. His damage is just too bad. Like, like if I had 570 power on any other mage in the game and I hit him with five abilities, he's dead. Cause I did hit him. I hit him with five abilities. Like he's, he's dead as shit. He's not half health. I don't know. I think Merlin's garbage and no one can convince me otherwise. I'll see you guys in game three. Welcome back to game number three, boys. After uh, holding last game's L minus 100 MMR because I tried to do something that only pro players can do, I am going to go back to being bad at smite and doing what I can do. So that means Kronos is open. That means on her, Anubis, Sukiyomi, all this stuff is open. There's also Oleron and Hades. I do love the Hades tier five skin. But I'm going to hit up a Chronos game. I got to try to get back 100 MMR. Or else this tryhard video is just minus 100 MMR, which is cringe. Who are we fighting? Siegfried. Isn't that the guy in sociology or psychology or something? Something Siegfried? Like the founder of psychology or like the founder of modern psychology, something like that. Am I dumb? I kind of feel dumb. Hold on. I got to look it up. Because I remember that name, and I think that's what it's from, but I... I hold on. I got to Google. I got to Google. This is important. Siegfried. Okay. It's not a game, bro. Who is? Who is? Siegfried. He's a, a legendary hero of Germanic heroic legend who killed the dragon and was later murdered. No, I'm not like, like the real, the real life Siegfried. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. I couldn't find him anywhere. I could have sworn I knew that name, though. 
Um, do I want blue? I probably do because I didn't go mana pots. It's, I don't have my hair tied back, so. Better to know things <clears throat> so my hair's flopping out of my headset. All right, blue buff acquired. Oh, he finished his really quick too, actually. Are you double buffing? Oh, you're not. Okay. I don't care too much about your level three damage as Agni, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna try to clear. Eldritch secrets reveal themselves to me. I'll actually do this wave too. He's doing just as much damage as me, it feels like. Not to me, but like the wave. I'm not even going to get my alt level 5, I don't think. I don't think I'm in danger of dying. Not yet, at least. Probably soon, but not yet. And the reason I'm going Hecate instead of Bancrofts right now, by the way, is because Hecate has a 30% fight swing attached to it. Like, I gain 5% power, and you lower their power by 5%, and it stacks three times. So, plus 15% power on my part, minus 15 on his. That's a 30% swing for a fight. It's pretty massive if you can stack it up. Oh, he got this XP camp instead of his speed buff. All right. That's respectable. I assume you're doing your speed buff now. But that does mean it's going to be very weird for his uh for his Q times. Like the Q time of the XP camp and then his buff again. He has Bancrofts, which I think is a better immediate power spike than Hecate until obviously until I have Hecate stacked in him, but I would like to stop him from doing this. Hello? Perfect. His dash is down. I'm just going to annoy the shit out of him here. I don't actually think I'll ever kill him here, but... Annoying him is big because... His blue buff spawns at the same time mine does. That was not where I aimed that, but whatever. His blue buff spawning the same time mine does is important. Hello. And I do a lot of damage. Your middle tower is under attack. I wonder where he went. I saw him dash to the side, but... I kind of figured he would go for some sort of play on my buff. Because I feel like that's really the only thing he can do at the moment. But I guess not. But I guess it's not. He was just taking the L on the blue buff and pushing waves. You're doing my XP. All right. It's fine. You can do my XP camp. I'll do the one you did before. My XP camp is easier to keep a hold of than the middle one, so... I'm cool with this, this little transposition. And I assume you did yours too? Yep. My speed buff is up. I could go do it. Whatever. I'll clear the wave and then go do it. He's going divine. Is it wise to deviate from the will of the master? We'll see. Hmm. I think I will take speed buff here. I want to 
use it to get to red quicker. And also, the yeah, attack speed is nice. Damn, he's not even contesting this. I feel like ever since he lost his blue buff, he's been playing a bit weird. Because his pressure was pretty good before he lost his blue. Gonna try to take the blue again. Might not be able to, but for my best. How did my stun not hit him? Wait, my stun didn't go off. Wait a second. How did my stun not go off? That's so weird. I could have sworn I threw that thing. Ouch. That is very weird. Oh. If that stun hit, I would have killed him, but... He's really running for it, boys. I do not want him to take my blue. Yeah, he back. Blue buff acquired. What's the gold looking like? I'm about 300 ahead. I'm a level ahead as well. It's pretty good. He has no defense either, so my fighting potential is infinitely higher than his. Like, I'm, I don't think there's any world in where he wins a fight against me. I actually think that I could win a fight against him even without alting. Even if he triple alts me. Because I have defense, and I'm minusing 15% of his power. I guess he's going divine right now. Hello? Alright. Passive got that blue for me. Man, landing autos really is not my forte today, huh? It's a bit weird. I don't know why he stopped his back. Maybe he thought he heard me backing. I can actually get a lot of damage on, on Phoenix here. Yeah, I can more than half kill the Phoenix. Shard. Better to know things before okay. they happen. I hold the 
I don't think you win this fight, man. I just don't think you do. Eldritch secrets reveal themselves to me. Now I think he loses I think he loses Phoenix. Like he backed and got his power spike of Obsidian Shard and then still lost the fight and the buff. And it's just because I got the fence and he didn't. Alright, Phoenix down. This game snowballed really hard. From 200 gold up to 2,000 gold up. I have so much gold in hand. Why would he walk into that? <laughs> I am not letting you take my tower. Alright. Be back with 5,000 gold in hand. I buy this and I buy this. Bro, I just got a full Typhons and a full Bancrofts in one back. Oh, huh? Holy shit. And he doesn't even have Divine. More damage. Look, I'm with you, man. I understand. Damage, it feels really good. But... If you don't have any defense, like not even one defensive item, you're just going to get rolled. Doesn't matter how much damage you do. If I'm doing just as much while being tankier. Gosh. Nice. Nice. GG, boys. That was game number three. That's probably a plus 15, I think. Um, which puts me at plus 30. Plus 30 from my winning games, minus 100 for my loss. So I'm minus 70 on the on the video so far. So I got to get a fat dub pretty soon here. I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? Game number four, I think. Game number four. Pretty insane, man. So I was just... what What's pretty insane? I, I know you have no context. What's pretty insane is the queen just died. That's, that's nuts. <clears throat> I really, for some reason in my head, I know everyone's mortal and shit, but the queen was born in like 1930. Like 1920, yeah, 1924. She was 98, right? Or 96? 96? Dude, that's insane. Born in the 1920s. Into the, the 2020s. That's fucking wild. There's a part of me that's like, well... You know all those rich upper class people? The, the famous people? They'll... They got machines to keep them alive. She'll... She'll outlive me. She'll be 180. But no, she didn't. That's fucking wild. Hello. I don't know how... I don't know how sensitive her death is. To people. Like if they really cared. 
and stuff. Because, I mean, she was a very well-liked queen for, for a long time. Yeah, she was. So I don't know if, like, I make a joke <laughs> or... I don't like, you know that joke you told me the, in the Discord? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that because I feel like someone might get mad at me. But, uh, you know, that's that's a good plug for the Discord. If you want to see the joke, join the Discord. It's in the description. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello. I think you die. I think you die here. Well, I was right. Just like the queen, she's fallen. I shouldn't have made that joke. People are going to get so mad at me, man. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> he got shell instead of beads, and he used his shell when he was fighting me over uh, by the XP camp. So I knew that if I landed the rap, he was dead, and then I figured out. I, I started ulting before the rap even hit because sometimes you can just tell, you know? Sometimes you can just tell. Can I do this? I think I caught him window shopping. Yeah, he left the game. <laughs> I caught him window shopping, got the kill, and he left the game. I am sorry, but I guess I'll see you guys in the next game. Welcome back, boys. Game number whatever. And, uh, oh my god, it's a clean Amira. This is going to be so cringe. Oh! He banned some weird gods, so I wasn't able to... Um... Oh, this is the guy that beat me with Kleena before. Oh, I'm I'm taking him down. I am taking you all the way down. He's but he has blue stone though. Will we pray on today? Wait, no, I beat this Kleena, didn't I? Who did I lose to? I lost to a Bastet when I was Merlin. I beat this Kleena before. Right? I'm not delusional. Yes. Okay. I I was playing Poseidon against his Kleena, and I won. So never mind. I don't need to win this game. Well, I do need to win it because my MMR would be in the in the tank if I didn't. But that being said, it's gonna be really hard to beat. A mirror match where he has bluestone and I don't. Oh, he turned his bug off. He turned his glitch off. Let's go, dude. All right. Hmm. He dashed through and got the minions to group up. That's how he did it. Nice. Mm. Am I dead? No, you're dead. Let's go. I don't know how I hit level 5 before him, but I will take it. I will take it. And he's still not level 5. I guess he lost XP to the tower. Oh no, he just hit level 5. Okay. He's good. He's fine.
Don't know if I win these, man. Okay, I definitely don't. I definitely don't win those. That's okay. I'll back out, grab my chalice, get my buffs, finish my transcendence. I don't get the red buff, but I feel like I get pretty good compensation. I guess I have to ult this wave first. Um, yeah, I'm not down in gold that much. Or I'm not down in gold. I'm not up in gold that much, I mean. I'm not down at all. <laughs> I want to see if I can steal his blue buff, but... The only thing about that is... Almost. Almost had it. The only thing about stealing is blue is I have to use a, an ability I don't want to use. Nice. Okay. I'm definitely winning this game right now. But, uh, he's going Soul Leader. Do I go Soul Leader also, or do I try to counter it? I don't know. Oh, you don't have ult, huh? Ouch. Let's go, dude. Big kill. Massive kill. Now, do I want Soul Eater? That's the question. That's really the only question on my mind right now. Do I want Soul Eater? The answer is kind of yes. So I'm going to get it. It's kind of yes. The only reason I say yes is because if I build what he wants to, then I'll always be one step ahead of him, right? Like, my build will always be better than his. Because he's he's never going to have the option to outbuild me. Yeah, and I'm just going to be stronger. Oh, well. I don't know if I miss that. Oh, shit. Oh, let's go. <laughs> what a weird fight. What a weird fight, dude. All right, another another fiver. Jeez Louise. All right, let's do another game, boys. We're only an hour and 20 in, and I have to cut out, like, at least 30 minutes already from queue times. And people that gave up. All right, well... One more game. Hopefully it's a long one and uh, I actually get some MMR off it. Who knows? See you, boys. Hey, what's up, boys? This is going to be probably the last game of the video, assuming we get an actual game going. Um, and If it's a five-minute surrender, there might be one more, but we'll see. Right now, Bakasura is open and Bologna is open as well. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm... I'll, gonna play Bologna because if he plays Baka I would rather be Bologna than have a Baka mirror match plus Bologna's just good in general let's play Bologna oh, okay well that's weird he picked Cerberus there are so many other options <laughs> Rexy no Ray Dill I don't know who this is I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating. He's got a diamond Cerberus. Maybe he fucking slaps in duel. Maybe he's he's waiting for people like me just so he can thwomp them down. I don't know what items I want, though. I kind of want to go Golden Blade. Is that weird? Golden Blade Bologna? Hmm... 
I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Shell because... When he ults, I should be able to, to counter alt it. And if I can't counter alt it, he's gonna have a really hard time 100 to zeroing me. Because I'm gonna go Shogun's next item after this one, and he's just like done for, right? Does he clear buffs faster than me? Holy crap, he shredded that buff. He was done with his buff like 18 seconds before I was. Oh, he's doing blue. Let's go. He went for the double buff start. He doesn't have the clear for it yet. Ouch. He does so much damage. Oh, he's just giving me this to go clear. That's not a bad play, honestly. But at the same time... Yeah, I don't know. He heals a lot from me. But, um... He also, like... At the same time of him healing a lot, it's also not going to be enough. And he has no mana because he didn't even get the, the mana buff. All right, big pause, big pause. That's a cool animation. I didn't know that when you slam something down with the hammer, you have this huge like ray of light that goes up from them. That's a really cool animation. Ray Dill, are you going to message me? Are you going to message me that I'm a tryhard and a loser? No, you are not. I feel kind of bad. Like, I know it's tryhard Thursday, but I also know that I play gods like Cerberus for videos, and it's like never as fun as you think it's going to be. Oh, how, how dare you use all your mana? Okay, never mind. You're better than me. Oh, I just straight up died to tower. I thought I could live. I thought I could live if I shelled. Because he wasn't hitting me. He didn't have mana. I was wrong. That was a good med bait. Is a very good med bait. I still feel bad, man. Like, I could die. I feel like I could ram my head into him 20 times. I could go 0 and 20 and still win this game. Because, like, there's just no shot. He just won't do enough damage to out damage my sustain. All of his healing actually comes from me. Like, if I'm not standing next to him, he's not healing at all. Oh. I think he missed his one and his two just now. Nice. A very, very good clear. Now we go for the blue. Oh, his jump healed him a bit. Hello. Alright. Yeah, I, I feel really bad. It's try hard Thursday, so I know I shouldn't. 
But like he he ulted me under tower and got a kill. And I'm still a higher level than him and 300 gold up. It feels super shitty to be in his position. He's going defense though. So he's not going full meme. That's good. Oh, nice. Good clear. I'm going to go grab my Shoguns now. I could go Talisman, but my spirit is Shoguns is probably better. wonder if he wants my speed buff. He doesn't. He doesn't. He clears the wave instantly, though. I think my next item... I mean, honestly, it should just be anti-heal, like a Toxic Blade, because I heal so much when I fight him. He heals so much when I fight him that it should just be a Toxic Blade, because I feel like... I mean, like I said, I have chalices and, and health pots and shit ticking all the time. And if I fight him in my three, he can't out damage me unless he gets like 18 rotations off, which he can get if I uh, don't have anti heal. Nice, I got them. Or a Kins or something, you know? I guess Kins and Toxic Blade will both just shred him. Toxic Blade will make it so he can't just sit there and heal through all my damage. Uh, which one do I want first? I think I probably want Kins first. No, I'll take Toxic Blade first. He has, he has Bancrofts too. He has Bancrofts. He has a Chalice. He's got his three that heals him as well. He's got a lot of forms of healing. What is Toxic Blade? I guess I lose that fight, huh? Artifacts of light. Guide I do have 2,400 gold, so it makes sense. There's no way I ever get this buff. I'm just going to let him have it, and I'll go Toxic Blade. It's annoying. You want your buff or not? There you go. Toxic Blade. And I'll just go Horrific. Bees wouldn't be bad, obviously, for the alt, but... Horrific will do just fine. I want that. You think he went for his blue? 
Oh yeah, he's doing his blue right now. Nice. It's bad. I'm like kind of rooting for him. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a part of me that's, you know, maybe minus 100 MMR doesn't really matter. Maybe, uh, maybe I just give him the win because he's, he's struggling. I saddled him 21 times. Imagine 21 kins procs. <clears throat> 21 kins procs. Kins is 2700, right? 2600. Alright, so I guess one more wave plus the passive income will be enough for Kins. <clears throat> Alright, and I think I win the game with just these four items. Now that I have Kins, like, there's no way he can even come close to out damaging me because I autoed him 21 times before and Kins is going to do so much damage in 21 autos <laughs> like just so much man yeah look at that damage skyrocket holy shit there's absolutely nothing you can do You try to stop me from taking your tower, I just take your tower a little bit more aggressively. Yep. I'm telling you, man, the kins. The kins is all you need. When you're fighting someone tanky who has hella sustain, you just grab kins and. So I have like 550 perm speed. Uh, 529 with passive. 529 with passive. I could build some movement speed items. Very cool. I have 425. <laughs> Yikes. I am sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, 548 with passive and speed. I just picked up speed, so I figured I'd update him. I'm going to go wing blade. I'm going to go Wingblade just because he was complaining about movement speed. And now I feel like it's my duty to build more movement speed. <laughs> Hello. I have 561 movement speed. Yeah, I have, I have 561 movement speed with Wingblade. Five six one now. <laughs> Make sure to buy Hasten Metallus last. Will do. Thanks. Alright. Hasten Metallus next item. I raid those words. <clears throat> Can I even get this Phoenix in time? 
I really do not do very much damage at all. All of my damage comes from Kins. Jesus, I'm annoying. How much is Hastened? 2400? Yeah, it is. 2450. I can farm for that. Hello. Bro, I'm faster than him sprinting. I'm I'm actually faster. He said, bro, I have sprint. <laughs> I know I'm faster than you sprinting. Holy shit. I'm so, I'm so speedy. All right. That's going to be the end of this, uh, this tryhard video. Let's see what the MMR is. Probably plus 15 again. Yeah. Plus 15. So I won six games. I won six games. I think during this video. No, I won five. There was six games during the video. Let me check. Let me make sure, actually. Uh, history. This was the other day. So I played one, two, three, four, five, six games. Five wins, one loss, and I am down 25 MMR. Five wins, one loss, down 25. That's not horrible. Right? Five times 15 is 75. All right. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, 24 hour stream tomorrow starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you want to be a member, be a member. You get extra content. Bye. Love you.